Oh my god, we've all been blessed. You've seen the title, you know what we're talking about. Melly Mel response back to rapper Eminem. That's the title. Melly Mel, I think is how you say it. Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get a free ghostwriter. Melly Mel not included. He's too busy ruining his career. Um, I think this is uh, a bad move for Melly Mel. Um, I don't think this is the right move. But who am I? Response to Eminem. I gotta take a listen to this because... Melly Mel is a, a legend, a hip-hop legend, an icon. Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, you know? Yeah! One minute and 12 seconds. What? Now listen, when I first heard that someone else had just dissed Eminem because Eminem's name's in headlines again for the Easy Mill thing, I figured, eh, I don't care. I didn't even know who Melly Mel was. What? I can't even say I'm excited when we have Eminem on deck and a topic relating to Eminem. Normally, I feel like it's Christmas Day, but today we're on the flip side of things. Someone has come out and dissed Eminem. Actually, a legend, to be fair to Melly Mel. Grandmaster Flash, Furious Five. Um, he is a pioneer, a legend. You, you got to pay homage, but he also did talk a lot about Eminem and basically pulled the race card. Not okay! So, you know, so it might be, it might be all right. So we got to take a look at it, but he's still going after the goat. You know what I mean? Eminem. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous to hear this because, you know. This guy stinks! What did I tell y'all when I reacted to Realist by Easy Meal and Eminem? And I heard Eminem's shot he fired at Melly Mel. I said, y'all, tomorrow, Melly Mel gonna be mad. He gonna be doing this with them weights. Then somebody said that they're part of the old hip-hop era. And so I went down the rabbit hole and realized the reason I didn't recognize the name Melly Mel is because usually they're associated with the groups they've been a part of. Socially conscious hip-hop back in the day. These were OGs, man. But, um, time passes. Shit happens. And now we have a diss track. So, Melly Mel going up against Eminem. Let's, uh, let's see what he served him. Let's see if uh, Eminem's career is about to be over for the hundredth time. Are you serious? Uh, jump into this. I don't know what to say. I'm a little bit over the dissing stuff. But it's only a minute and 12 seconds long. Uh, if you're going to go at Eminem, you better, uh, you better bring something to the table. Let's go. That's what she said. I mean, I'm hoping it's, it's, it's kind of good because, you know, it's good for hip-hop and stuff. But let's check it out. It's the one. No apologies, this ain't a disclaimer. I'm the king of legend, the first Hall of Famer. Making diss tracks, I know you with that. Now everybody get ready for the kickback. Why you hurt? Why you mad? Now you look bad. Like a roach just crawled out of your book bag. In a like a roach crawled out of here. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I hadn't got to do a real good roast session in a while, and I do believe that's what this is gonna be, folks. Because a minute, 12 seconds? Are you kidding me? All right, April. G, squad, fist bump, love y'all. Let's get it. It's the one. No apologies. This ain't a disclaimer. I'm the king of legend. He starts it out with one of Eminem's songs. No apologies. <laughs> he starts it out paying homage to Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it. One. It's the one. No apologies. This ain't a disclaimer. I'm the king of legend, the first Hall of Famer. Making diss tracks. I know you with that. Now everybody get ready for the kickback. Why you hurt? Why you? Get ready for the kickback from the gun because he's firing shots. You get it? I don't even need to play. Nas got yourself a gun. What? Is, what in the old school is going on here? Emotional damage. It's the one. No apologies. This ain't a disclaimer. I'm the king of legend, the first Hall of Famer. Making diss tracks. I know you with that. Now everybody get ready for the kickback. Why you hurt? Why you mad? Now you look bad. Like a roach just crawled out of your book bag. In a pack clad, you lack clad. Go to bed with no supper, cause you gotta suffer the backlash. The top. Go to bed with no supper because you gotta suffer the backlash? 
I'm sure he's eating just fine. Why you hurting? Why you mad? Now you look bad. That's what she said. What the? <sighs> nah, nah, nah. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I mean, is this? Is this serious? Definitely not. Come on, man. Are you serious? Let's go. Let's hear it. No apologies. This ain't a disclaimer. I'm the king of legend, the first Hall of Famer. Making diss tracks. I know you with that. Now everybody get ready for the kickback. Why you hurt? Why you mad? Now you look bad. Like a roach just crawled out of your book bag. In a pack clad, you lack clad. Go to bed with no supper. Cause you gotta suffer the backlash. The top five is cap. You the piss just on the floor in the elevator of rap. Why you ducking? In the elevator of rap. I don't know, man. Melly Mel, you're talking all that shit, bro, about, you know, Eminem being white. That's why he's not in the top five. You racist. And then you come out with this. I don't know, bro. Like, this ain't a disclaimer. That could be a, a double entendre. It could be. Like, the obvious meaning of disclaimer, D I S C L A I M E R. This ain't a disclaimer. But also a dis, D-I-S-S, space, claimer, C-L-A-I-M-E-R. Could be. I'm a king, a legend, the first Hall of Famer. No, Chuck Berry was the first Hall of Famer. But Furious Five and Grandmaster Flash was the first rap group to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. So, I mean, technically he's right because they were the first rap group group to be inducted into the hall of fame so okay and so i thought to myself hold on an old head from hip-hop dissed eminem why would that intrigue me well because i spend hours and hours on live streams and subtly in videos trying to explain to people that when people talk about the pioneers of hip-hop they're talking about really really crappy artists i mean yeah, Grabmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Congratulations being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It was it was Jay Z that got to induct them. That's pretty dope. That's about as far as this homage is gonna go because uh, well, we got a diss track to break down. I think. What is this, bro? Like, what is the the glitchiness? Cause this is Belly Bell's Hip Hop Corner. So is this his official channel? I mean, these graphics are all point if they were 1980. <laughs> Go to bed with no supper because you suffer the backlash. We got internal and external rhyme schemes. Uh, hardest hitting punchline so far is a roach crawling out of your backpack. What the? Are we going back to school? Clad, you lack clad. Go to bed with no supper because you got to suffer the backlash. The top five is cap. You the piss just on the floor in the elevator of rap. Why you done? He could take that bar and flip in the elevator of a rap. It means he's also elevating rap. So you got to be very careful here, man. See, uh, Melly Mel wouldn't survive in this climate, and he's not surviving this climate right now with this diss at all. What you rap for? Do the back war. It's just not there. The top five is cap. You the top five is cap. Wanna know why you not black? Dude, you, you're supposed to be a legend. You're supposed to be a legend. You're an icon. What are you doing? What is this 1970s bullshit that you're coming out with? What in the hell is this? This shit is embarrassing, bro. Come on, man. For real? Oh, my God. On the game when you shit on my name. Why they put Pee Wee Herman in the Hall of Fame? I would give you a... Why you put Pee Wee Herman in the Hall of Fame? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh, man. I don't know. What is happening in this world? Jesus. First off, I don't even know why Melly Mel is talking shit about M, but you know what I mean? Like, you're like, you're putting mud in your name. You know what I mean? Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, that's a, that's a legend. Make your diss tracks, I know you with that. Now everybody get ready for the kickback. I feel like I'm back in 1987 in my bedroom mirror doing the Cabbage Patch. And the kid and play. And the Roger Rabbit. And that's just what it is. And now thanks to Melly Mel, I don't have to spend as much time explaining that anymore. You just listen to his diss. It came right out of that era of hip hop. It's the one. The Dr. Seuss rhymes. Why you hurt? Why you mad? Now you look bad. The stupid corny flow. The top five is cap. You the 
piss just on the floor in the elevator of rap. It's all there. I was thinking maybe, maybe he'd try to put a modern spin on it, but no, he stuck true to his roots. And God bless him for that, because it makes it so much easier for people like me to continue to mock how utterly terrible hip hop was. Are you mad? Now you look bad. Like a roach just crawled out of your book bag in a pack clad. You lack clad. Go to bed with no sun. You know, like when you write a line and you go, yeah. That's fucking hard. That wasn't it. The piss just on the floor in the elevator of rap. Why you ducking on the game when you shit on my name? Why they put Pee Wee Herman in the Hall of Fame? Why they put Pee Wee Herman? You ducking the game, so we just made a reference to the game, obviously, which Eminem just completely wiped out. Melly Mel, the game, and Lord Jamar all on one verse with Easy Mill, where he didn't even want to outshine his artist that he just signed. Bro, when M got inducted to the rock and roll hall of, hall of fame he even mentioned your ass and then you're over here talking shit about him i don't understand like i mean i just read about it that melly mel has an album coming out so you know eminem mentions mentions him in in the song called realist with easy mill i mean eminem is gracious enough to like mention you you know what i mean try to help you out with your album but who in the fuck is gonna listen to your album after they listen to this shit. Oh my god. You blew it. Pack clad, you lack clad. Go to bed with no suffer, cause you gotta suffer the backlash. The top five is cap. You the piss just on the floor in the elevator of rap. Why you the top five is cap. You're the pissed on the floor in the elevator of rap. Bro, Eminem is in damn near everybody I knows top five if not top ten one of the two if he's not in their top five he's in their top ten anybody that's a true hip-hop head he's in most people's top five or top ten you know who ain't yo ass <laughs> people who their top five or top ten is ever because let's be real if you know the history of hip-hop like i do because my family was literally there and my grandma was there at the block parties that started it all cutting records with the djs my family's from puerto rico and cuba even though i didn't get any of that they're all in new york before my mom moved to california D don't worry about it. i know about hip-hop history and hip-hop started as just a counterculture goofy thing that didn't even have people rapping okay rapping came later it was just a dj thing and then rappers started to be like oh this is cool i'm gonna spit some rhymes and it was all goofy melly mel was one of the first conscious rappers in hip-hop where it went from goofy to talking about real issues flash the top five is cap you the piss just on the floor in the elevator of rap why you ducking on the game when you should top five that's cap you the piss that's on the, the the floor of the elevator and rap what you trying to do you trying to level up on eminem didn't you say that he was in the top five, but he's only top five because he's white? Are you even walking that back? Cap, you the piss just on the floor in the elevator of rap. Why you ducking on the game when you shit on my name? Why they put- Bro, this sounds like how to rap 101. Like, I don't know. This is like a little kid just like yelling things into the microphone. Yeah, I'm gonna rip all this stuff in out of your teddy and I'm gonna punch it in the nose. And like the kid thinks that it's super hard and it's like really going in, but in actuality, it's just like swinging a whiff in a in a complete miss and disconnection from the bar. Would give you a pound, but I break your hand. I got the lawyer so white he will take your land. Yo, check him. I got a lawyer so white he would take your land, dude. This guy needs to fucking get a grip on reality, dude. He said I would pound your hand, but I would. What the fuck did you say? You a pound, but I break your hand. I got the lawyer so white he would. Yo, check your man, come and look at Yo, check your man. Yo, check your man, come and look at I got a lawyer so white he will take your land. Get the fuck out of here, bro. For real? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> For real, though, what in the fuck? Bruh. What is this? This, this, 
This shit is straight trash. Garbage. Man, you should flush this shit in the toilet. What the hell? Anybody review this? That like in your camp, bro, did they listen to this and say, nah man, you can't you can't release that. Man, you need some friends. In the elevator of rap. Why you ducking on the game when you shit on my name? Why why you ducking on the game? Okay, that's decent, cause Eminem didn't respond to the game. But we all know why Eminem didn't respond to the game. I still do think Eminem should have responded to the game, but we all know why he didn't. Because that's exactly what the game wanted, and Eminem did not want to give the game what he wanted. Because people act like hip-hop was founded on talking about real issues. It wasn't. It was founded on party culture and having fun. And then the social issues followed. Because the people had a lot of shared struggles who were making this style of music, so they started talking about it. But so far as I and most of the world is concerned, hip-hop didn't start to sound good until Tupac and Biggie. More Tupac than Biggie. Let's be real. Tupac knew how to make radio hits better than Biggie. Get over it. But I'm getting distracted. Melly Mel dissing Eminem because I guess Eminem showed him disrespect or said something. I don't know. I don't care. Oh my God. Who the hell cares? But the dude is rapping like it's 1982 in the worst way possible. Don't hate the greats. More white chalk. More yellow tape. Who that? Who that? To diss Eminem. And it's just... Oh. Why you ducking on the game when you shit on my name? Why they put Pee Wee Herman in the Hall of Fame? Okay, there's a bar there. Why you ducking on the game when you shit on my name? Like he could imply that as a double ducking on the rap game, but it's Melly Mel. Did he write that? Maybe. I mean, come on. Come on, Melly Mel and them. They did give us, like, they were the originators of conscious hip hop. You know, I gotta, I gotta give credit. It's such a weird situation to have such a legend and a great, but at the same time, like he's just, he's going after Eminem for absurd reasons. Why you ducking on the game? But obviously, saying that the game, we dropped Black Slim Shady, we broke that down. Eminem never responded and just killed game with his silence, and I think just let the stands take care of him, which is normally what happens. You just get Nick Cannon nowadays. You barely Nick Eminem. Your friend, cause I think that Eminem is popping pills again. We call him Pill Clinton or either Pill Gates. What pill did homie take to make him hate the great? Think you are, but you ain't. Still, you made a mistake. Hit a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'ma give your fans one more chance to go online and re-energize that romance. After that, say your last goodbye. Cut before I put Matthew's likes out. I'm turning off his fucking Wi-Fi. Another He's not on pills again. It's always the same disses over and over again. And here comes the same people who just hate Eminem because he's white in my comment sections. Talking about, oh, you just ride Eminem's dick because he's white. This is bad, dude. If you think this is good, your taste in music sucks. It's bad. I'ma give your fans one more chance to go online and re-energize that bromance. After that, say your last goodbye. Re-energize the, um, re the bromance? Re-energize the bromance? Really? Cut before I put Matthew's likes out, I'm turning up his fucking Wi-Fi. Another little kid. Don't hate the greats. More white chalk. More yellow tape. Who that? Who that? Billy Bell. Ouch. Yeah. He keeps on saying, like, don't hate the great, man. You're the one who was talking. You was talking about about M. You know what I mean? And he just he just mentioned your name. That's it. Trying to give you like. I don't know. That's flowers, bro. Like, that's flowers. When Eminem mentions your name, that's flowers. And then you over here release this garbage. And then you have an album coming out. Man, if this was just a little bit okay, everybody would listen to your album. But this shit is pure trash. Trash. It's garbage. Oh, my God. This shit is annoying. Why did I do this for? What the fuck? Think you are, but you ain't still you made a mistake. Hit a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'ma give your fans one more chance to go online and re-energize that bromance. After that, say your last goodbye. Cut before I put Matthew's like Or maybe he didn't say bromance. Maybe he said to re-energize they bro mans. Cause he probably ate up with the today's lingo. He probably don't even know what bromance means. <laughs> That's sad. Line and re energize that romance. After that, say your last goodbye. Cause before I put Matthew's likes out, I'm turning up his fucking Wi Fi. Cause before I put Matthew's lights out. After that, say your last goodbye. Cause before I put Matthew's likes out, I'm turning up his fucking Wi Fi. And Matthew 
I know that was Stan's little brother, but hey, he did. And Matthew was also the name of the guy that broke into Eminem's house. Other than that, what Matthew could he be talking about? Because it ain't Eminem, because Matthew ain't part of Eminem's name. So, if it ain't St it Stan's dead little brother, or the weirdo creepo that broke into Eminem's house, what Matthew is he talking about? And bro, you don't turn Wi-Fi up or down. And then Eminem, I don't even know if Eminem would respond to this. Eminem respects the old heads. I don't understand that. I never will. Just because people started hip hop doesn't mean what they did was good. It means it was essential. It'd be like saying that the best light bulbs are the original ones that Edison created. They weren't the best ones. They were just required to get to the good ones. You should be going around trying to find the oldest light bulbs because that's where light bulbs started. No, you can respect the history of why this was important and still say it sucks. And luckily, we improved upon it. And that's hip hop. You shit on my name. Why they put Pee Wee Herman in the Hall of Fame? I would give you a pound, but I break your hand. I got the lawyer so white, he will take your land. Yo, check your man, come and look at your. 40 acres and a mule, check in on that one. Your hand, I got the lawyer so white, he will take your land. Yo, check your man, come and look at your brain. Cause I think that them are never popping pills again. We call him Pill Clinton or either Pill Gates. What pill did homie take to make him hate the great? Think you Pill Clinton or Pill Gates? That was funny. All of Pill Clinton or either Pill Gates. What pill did homie take to make him hate the great? Think you are but Fuck me, is this real life? Someone tell me that this is a fairy tale. Ain't still you made a mistake. Hit a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'ma give your fans one more chance to go online and That didn't just happen. Please don't tell me we literally just counted from one to eight in a rap, did we? Did homie take to make him hate the great? Think you are, but you ain't still you made a mistake. Hit a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, no, that happened. I, th I thought I dreamt that, but no, that was that was real. Well, my five-year-old daughter would be proud of that. I'ma give your fans one more chance to go online and re-energize that bromance after that. Go online and energize the bromance. I say your last goodbye. Cut before I put Matthew's likes out, I'm turning off his fucking Wi-Fi. Matthew's lights, I'm turning out his fucking Wi-Fi. Another little kid, don't hate the great. More white chalk, more yellow tape. Who that, who that? More white chalk, more yellow tape. I'm a murderer, I'm an M. Kid, don't hate the great. More white chalk, more yellow tape. Who that, who that? Billy Bell. Are you joking me? That was a diss track? What the fuck was that? Nah, that was horrible. That was absolutely horrible. This is awful. I'm done. This is awful. This is bad. I, I literally feel like I want to throw up right now. It's so bad. Like, dude, like, you're a legend in the game. Leave it at that. Leave it alone. You spoke bad on the man's name. He responded. It was very well put together. And then now you want to come back with this 1970s, 80s style. Your music's bad and you should feel bad. Seven, eight. I'm gonna give your fans one more chance to go online and re energize that romance. After that, say your last goodbye. Cut before I put Matthew's likes out, I'm turning up his fucking Wi Fi. Another little kid, don't hate the great. More white chalk, more yellow tape. Who that, who that? Billy Bell. Is this fucking real life? Are we really in 2023 listening to this? Am I tripping? Melly Mel, bro, you just made yourself look fucking... I feel like I just listened to my great-grandfather try to diss somebody. <laughs> Hip-hop started in a confusing spot, and most of the rappers involved weren't good at rap because they were the first ones doing it. It was hard to figure out what you were supposed to do. So respect for them needs to be separated from what talent they actually do or don't have. And it's just so nice because I'm always shitting on that era of rap, and people give me a hard time like, there's the classics. That's nostalgia. If you think that sounds good, it's because you were at an impressionable age the first time you heard it, and you're nostalgic for it. But just like the original Edison bulbs and the original 
cars were crap. So was that. And we heard a modern version of it. Why you mad? Now you look bad. And holy crap, it's bad. Why they put Pee Wee Herman in the Hall of Fame? And let me say, what Melly Mel did is masterclass for that niche of hip hop. That disc went super hard for that niche. And it's that bad. Everyone on the internet's laughing about it. Rightfully so. <laughs> Did Eminem just get grounded by Melly Mel? Did he really do that? Like, he's gonna turn off your Wi-Fi. Oh no, no more social media tonight, kids. Give fans one more chance to go online and re-energize that bromance. After that, say your last goodbye. Cut before I put Matthew's likes out, I'm turning off his fucking wife. Did you say Matthew? Before I put, Ma was he supposed to say Mathers? And he said Matthew? Who the fuck is Matthew? Mark, Luke, and John? Oh my god, he's going senile now. He can't even remember who he's battling. This is awful. He just Joe Biden, Eminem. Chalk, more yellow tape. Who that? Who that? Belly Bell. Got a little bit of a Saints who that, who that in there. Wow. That's a prime example of like when you over deliver bars and lines and it sounds so much harder than it actually is. Like basically I'm going to ground you. Daddy's going to turn off your Wi-Fi, and he's going to go bang mommy now. So you can listen to the noises. I don't, I, I don't even know what just happened with my life. Like he's such a legend. Why did he do this? This is not good. Like, who told him this was good? Like, he, there, somebody mixed this. Somebody sat in the studio booth and mixed this. And there were other people that he probably played it for. And then they listened to it. And they had a chance to shut it down. But nobody told him the truth. And everybody told him he should release this. Well, that's going to be a quick battle, isn't it? That's what she said! This is a great lesson in the difference between respect Expecting something for its historical significance and thinking that historical significance means that it's good. It doesn't. Sometimes a big old pile of turd sets the foundation for something good. That basically describes all of hip hop until Tupac. Out of jail, fresh out of jail, California dreaming. Soon as I step on the scene, I'm hearing hoochie screaming. Fainting for money and alcohol, the life of the West Side. And I will gladly die on that hill being correct. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Bathos. What happened to that dude on the street? Who's saying what's up, Jimmy? Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!